Hey guys, you ever heard of this brand of cars? It's called Lux Luxgen. Like I've never heard of them. Period. And then like a few months ago, my wife and I were looking at a car and we're like, "What kind of car is that?" And and, and it looks looks they all they all look kind of classy. See, this is a Luxgen right here. It's got the L symbol. Luxon chest test drive. The vehicles themselves look high class, but who makes them? Luxgen. Yeah, so this is a Luxgen vehicle, SUV. It seems, seems like they're almost all SUVs. Is that all they make is like one SUV? That's crazy. And it looks, you know, it looks cool, but the question is, is it any good? I'm never even, I don't even know who makes them. SUV Luxgen. Hello. One of the workers, and he says it's uh, made in Taiwan. It's a Taiwan, it's a new brand of cars. So the, and, and at present they only have the one model. Oh, they have evidently two models. That's more of a minivan and that's more of a bit more of a sportier version. You have two models. That one is That is C7 and this one is C5. I'm just testing. Ooh. You just push a button and then it opens by itself. You don't have to pull. You want to go in the shop? Is it so simple? No. In the shop, you have to use Liguan, right? Yes, you can use Oh, wow. This is the button. I don't believe it. I feel like in the shop, you should not be so simple. It's really so simple. You can use your hand to pull. That's pretty cool. It's actually it's nice looking too. It's style. Yeah, it's good. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is the inside of the car. This is the monitor and whatnot. It's got a push button start. One, two, three. This is the control of the monitors. Screen. And here's the key, which is kind of like a card. You've got the buttons and stuff. It's a bit big, but a bit, bit big and flat. It's kind of like my Suzuki, but that's the, that's why, that's, this is in the car and that's why the button works. It wouldn't work if it wasn't in the car. That's cool. The monitor is actually like 3D and this parts just stick out. And it talks and whatnot. Okay. Okay, he just closed the door and he told me to use the left light. Oh, yeah. When you use the signal light, the monitor changes to cameras on either side of the car, so you can see, so you, so you can see you don't need to shoulder check. You can just check your monitor for your blind spot. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's got English on the on the menu, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Voice command settings. Oh, it's got voice command for everything. Reverse assistant, side view. Okay. Okay. So it's not touch screen, but the one two three one two three settings are used on here. One two three and one two three. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You got a button here. Here it is. Eagle view. Eagle eye view. It means like a top down view. And that's actually the car we're sitting in and that's 360 degrees around the car. Okay. Like how cool is that? You can see the car from the top down view. Okay. So, can you see? So, 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 it's okay. This is just one knee. Can you find the balance one? So yeah, this is, this is the this is the monitor. You, you can you can choose a direction, and then you can see in that direction. So you can just choose which way you want to see. If you're if you're parallel parking or whatnot, it even it even has this the centimeters or distance away from your car on every, on each side. For an SUV, it's a bit more convenient, right? Less chance of killing a motorcyclist when you got every time you put on your signal light, you can see out you can see your blind spot. 
You said that the, the programming and, and the controls were done by the HTC phone, like the HTC Diamond stuff is a touch phone. They, they, because uh, HTC phone, it's sold everywhere, you should know it, um, is made in Taiwan. So they went to the, that company and asked them to design this for them, and they did. So that's why it's, it's very intuitive and very uh, well done. Yeah, um, the, the vehicles, they're all, they all use a 2.2 liter engine. The reason for this is in Taiwan, if you use 2.4 liter or higher, the tax, the yearly licensing tax or whatever, like doubles. So it's, it adds on a few hundred dollars each year for licensing tax. So people try not to get bigger than 2.5 liters. Anyway, so this is a 2.2 liter, but they make up for the smaller size by turbocharging uh, all of their cars. So all, all of the, all the Luxon vehicles are turbocharged. Yeah, that Luxon, that Lux, Luxgen SUV, it's not, it's not a bad name for a car, Lux, Luxgen, it's not bad. Um, my, my wife and I, we, we were driving on the highway and we had one of those like behind us or something and we were, we were you know, it, it, the company's only been making cars for about a year and a half and the, the, they have like a minivan and they have an SUV. The minivan, they've been making it for a year and a half and the SUV, it's only been out for a, a, a few months. He said, yeah, like two or three months, that's it. So yeah, so about you know a month ago we saw one on the road and we were we were really confused. We're trying to figure out what it was. You know, it's made in Taiwan, but the thing is, you know, like made in Taiwan is still better than made. It, it's 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 better than made in China. And made in China, a lot of cars are made in China nowadays. Even like the new Hondas are made in China. So that's the thing. If it's if it's either it's either made in. Uh, if you got a choice between made in China or made in Taiwan, and you choose made in Taiwan, so you think, oh, I'm not going to buy a Taiwanese branded car, I'm going to buy Japanese, which sounds like it makes sense, but the problem is a lot of Japanese cars are made in China nowadays, so, so you'd be better off going with the Taiwan brand. Uh, but then again, but then again, again, for like the second time, uh, who knows if Luxgen is actually made in Taiwan, it might be made in China. But I'm guessing it isn't, because if they did that, if it was a Taiwanese brand made in China, they'd really be shooting themselves in the foot, and I don't think anyone would buy it. I'm pretty sure if I asked the guy, he would say, yeah, it's, it's uh, made in Taiwan. And Taiwan quality control is pretty good, considering the fact that... Um, Taiwan, you know, the, like I think the majority of computer parts and things come from Taiwan nowadays. Anyways, yeah, so it was, it was interesting checking out the Luxgen. Being, you know, some people say I'm an asshole driver and I put other people, to, other people in danger and blah 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 blah. Fuck you! I'm like, oh my god, I just don't.